In last video, we discussed about the Libra Ascendant in Vedic Astrology. In this video, we are going to talk about the Scorpio Ascendant in Vedic Astrology and what foundation it has to offer to your horoscope. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I am your host Prasad Mahazadi. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You will be getting Vedic Astrological videos just like this one. These videos will help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. These videos will help you go further faster into Vedic Astrological studies. If you are not following me on Instagram, this is my ID. Go follow me on Instagram. And if you are looking for readings or con consultations, check out the link into the description section. Today we are going to talk about the Scorpio Ascendant. Before we talk about the Scorpio Ascendant, let us talk about what is Scorpio sign. Scorpio, the first thing which comes to my mind when I think of Scorpio, is an intense martial energy. Scorpio is ruled by Mars, is a water element sign and it is the Moksha Trikon sign. It is one of the Moksha Trikon sign along with 4, 8 and 12 like Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So it is the 8th Rashi in the natural horoscope which is ruled by Mars which is water element sign it is deep. What is the 8th house? 8th house is the energy which is very intense as well as it shows things which are hidden. That is Scorpio is a hidden energy. Okay. And what happens when you have ascendant Scorpio? We have what is ascendant? Ascendant is the sign rising at the eastern horizon. We have 24 hours, we have 12 Rashis. Each Rashi rise at the east point and we have all the 12 ascendants in a day. We have 12 ascendants, 12 Rashis, 24 hours. Each Rashi rules for two hours. Now you have Scorpio on the east point or east horizon at the time of your birth. Now we are going to put this Scorpio sign into your first house. Now your combination becomes 8th Rashi first house, 9th Rashi second house, 10th Rashi third house, 11th Rashi fourth house, 12th Rashi fifth house and so on till 7th Rashi and 12th house. Okay, Some, so now we are imposing this into the houses. Houses are fixed. Rashis keep on changing. Okay. Now we have to look for the Scorpio Ascendant and what it has to offer to your horoscope. In first house, as we discussed, it is a very intense emotional martial energy. These guys have a very strong emotional sense. They have all the martial qualities like they have the stamina, preservance and all the martial things, strength. But apart from it, it also has that water element touch to it. They have a, a sense of intense emotional quotient. And on the negative side, it can also be seen as jealousy, which is what hidden intense negative feeling. In the second house, these guys have the energy of Sagittarius. What is the second house? Second house is all about your speech, your immediate family environment, your assets and what you value. So when you have the sign of Sagittarius in your second house, you value the Sagittarian and Jupiter thing. You value the higher beliefs, you value spirituality, you value religious, you value religion, you value the life purpose, you value the father, you value guru, you value higher studies. And when you speak about it, 
you speak in a very philosophical way which inspires people when the scorpion when the scorpion ascendant guy speaks everybody listens and they and they feel very positive about it they get the positive outlook towards the life in third house these guys have the energy of capricorn these guys have the energy of saturn in the form of capricorn capricorn is a disciplined earth element sign ruled by saturn and now these third house is also the house of your desires because it is the first kama trikon house 3 7 11 are the kama trikon houses and now you have this disciplined earth element sign into the kama trikon house okay it kinds of gives direction to your desires you don't have that unrealistic desires you are very disciplined and practical desires your hobbies are also aligned in such a way that they are most practical and possible for you to pursue in the fourth house the scorpio people have the energy of aquarius aquarius is a friendly and intelligent side of the saturn aquarius in the fourth house also brings in the 11th house energies into the fourth house for the scorpio ascendant why because they have the 11th rashi 11th in the fourth house what is the fourth house fourth house is the house of your mother your private life your early childhood and the early education which usually mother gives to their child these people enjoy very friendly relationship with their mother their mother is very friendly to them unlike the libra ascendant where the fourth rashi was capricorn and they were having a strict mother now to scorpio guys they have the energy of aquarius in the fourth house hence they have a very friendly mother or they have a very friendly relationship with their mother these guys have the energy of pisces in the fifth house pisces is a water element sign ruled by jupiter it is not the sagittarius which is very positive and a leader in a spirituality or education or teaching people this is submissive and ready to dissolve themselves into the universe they are extremely emotional sign as it is ruled by pisces water element to be precise so these people are very good at their studies these people are very good in communication these people if they have well placed all these depends upon the placement of the lords okay this is just a foundation if you have a well placed well aspected well conjunct the planet with the strength the good avasthas and all that stuff then it is going to manifest this foundation and this is going to multiply profoundly this foundation okay in the 6th house these guys have the energy of aries aries is ruled by mars their lagna lord is also mars and now they have the 6th house energy what is the 6th house 6th house is the house of the diseases delays and the disease delays okay sixth house is the house of disease delays and the repetitive action your routine now you have the enterprising mars who is also the lagna lord into the sixth house this gives them the strength and a discipline to work in a repetitive action to work in a repetitive job okay in the seventh house these guys have the energy of taurus taurus is a fixed sign a fixed sign into the seventh house so these guys get a very stable and 
very honest and loyal partners because Taurus is a fixed sign. They are very uh, fortunate in the seventh house affairs. In the eighth house, these guys have the energy of the Mercury or the energy of the Gemini to be precise. And this, the eighth house also has the energy of the third house. So these guys like to talk about the eighth house things. They have the eighth house in their first house. Eighth Rashi and the energy of the eighth house into their first house. And now the eighth house also has the energy of the Mercury. So what it does is they always talk about occult, mysticism, astrology, healing, all these things which are buried underground, which are not visible, which are quite hidden. They like to talk about this. They like to communicate about this. In the ninth house, the house of Bhagya, these guys have the energy of moon. And what is the fourth house? Fourth house is also the house of your Sukh or happiness. And now you have the fourth Rashi into the ninth house. So it also brings the fourth house significations into the ninth house. So these guys are very fortunate that they get happiness from the spirituality, from the, re from the religion, gurus, father, long distance travel and all that stuff. Okay. And in the 10th house, these guys have the energy of sun. Sun likes to be in the 10th house. Sun likes to be around 10th house. 10th house is the house which is right above our head, which is the zenith. Sun is brightest in the afternoon when it is right above your head. In the first house, it is around 6 a.m. or around the sunrise. In the seventh house, it is like a sunset around 5 o'clock. In the fourth house, it is like 11 p.m., 10.30 p.m. Makes no sense. It is in the nether. And in the 10th house, it is the brightest. Sun likes to be in the 10th house. So when you have the foundation or the environment of the Leo sign in the 10th house, these people rise to the top in their profession. They will give what it takes to be on the top in their profession. They will be very creative in their profession and they will be very fortunate in their profession. In the sixth, oh, excuse me, in the eleventh house, these guys have the energy of Virgo. Virgo is an analytical sign. Virgo is a dual sign, earth element sign ruled by Mercury. Mercury is also ruling the 8th house. Now Mercury is ruling that 11th house as well. So these guys have a very intellectual friend circle. Because what is Mercury? Mercury is your intelligence. Sun is your soul. Moon is your mind or manas. And first thing after soul and moon, soul and Mind or manas is your intelligence. Okay. So these people have a very intelligent friend circle or they are always connected with the best and uh, reputed companies or organizations. In the 12th house, these guys have the energy of the Libra. What is Libra sign? Libra is all about the balance. Libra is an air element sign ruled by Venus. Venus is also ruling the 7th house. So these guys have to be careful about the 7th house things because the 
ruler of the seventh house is also the ruler of the twelfth house. So they might have a difficulty delay. Why delay? Because the twelfth house is six places away from the seventh house. And both the houses are ruled by the same planet Venus, which is about the relationships. So these guys have to be careful about the, their relationships. So yes, this was Scorpio Ascendant. As much as I could hold, grasp and share with you guys. Subscribe if you aren't already. Hit that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. And sending you tons of positive energy. Sending you high vibrations. See you in the next videos. Love and peace.